Hey, what is up you guys? I am here, back with another episode of The Average Show Show. And today is a very exciting and special episode because we got a funk on haul. So, let's roll that intro. So, welcome back guys. As I said, we did get a funk on haul in the stores today because unfortunately Fat Gum and Gang Orca were not on the website when I did the lottery. If you didn't know, they're going to be delayed for some reason. So they're doing a second password and closed shopping experience for the people who did win the lottery so that way they can get some other exclusives such as Kaboom Clown that didn't... Oh wait, such as... Yeah. So welcome back guys. As I said, I did get an in-store Funko Pop haul from WonderCon because Unfortunately, they don't have Fat Gum and Gang Orca, and fortunately, I was able to get both. Surprisingly, I don't know how I did it, but thank you to my mom. Sorry, change of plans, my grandpa. I didn't want him to make him win the line, and my mom got off of work, and she said she'd offer to do it. So thank you to my mom for taking me today and waiting online in Hot Topic, and I waited in line at GameStop. Sadly, um, GameStop, that the mall did not have it. They had three, and I was fourth in line. And of course, the three people in front of you had to get it. So I was like, great, now I don't get fat gum. But I called my other game sub that's like five minutes away from my house, and they had seven. Seven. The one that no one goes to. Like, that. no one goes to that GameStop. And I was like, why? Why would they have seven? I was so confused. But either way, I got fat gum, and I got gang orca. So let's take a look at the haul. So this might be first look at these pops. I don't know if there's any reviews on YouTube yet. But we got Gang Orca. I did get two. Not the flip. I got one for a friend. Pop picks. Um, unfortunately, I didn't notice this. But the one that I got for him has damage. If you can see that. A little crease in the back. But he says that it's perfectly fine. We're actually doing a trade. He's going to like a smaller convention. And they're going to have the voice actor of Mina from My Hero Academia. So um, he said that we do a little trade. I get him this. And he get me the autograph. Which is a great deal. And then... My mom was feeling nice. Or oh, here's actually a closer look at the, the gang worker though. There it is. This is a really, really sick pop. Very obscure character, but definitely one that they probably should have made into a Funko Pop because it's big, but not too big. And he's a pro hero. And I am trying to get one of every character from My Hair Academia, so I did need this. And my mom was feeling nice, and I was feeling lucky, so she did actually end up getting me the um the Harley Quinn soda. Just to, for, it would be fun to open up, you know? Just on the channel so that way I can have something to open up. So before we take this one out of the box... Oh, actually, wait, really quickly. I just, I noticed this too when I was in the car. Apparently they were cutting it and they have, they cut through the box. I don't know if you can see that, but there it is. There's a giant line on the bottom from where they cut. Now you can get into the Harley Quinn soda. I did notice that the sticker is actually on the inside of this. So don't have to worry about, you know, having to peel off the sticker. So here we go. It's always fun and nice to open up sodas, especially con exclusive ones. And I don't think I've ever bought a person, like a soda in person before. So this is going to be really awesome and really sick. So again, here it is. Here's the Harley Quinn soda. Um, there's this sticker, the shared sticker. Um, this is limited to 12,000 pieces, and the chase is metallic. So you never know, we could get the chase. Uh, here we go. I'm going to close my eyes. I'm not going to look. Um, I'm, I'm going to go with this just to common. We're going to put it to the side. Let's shake it up for good luck. Anyway... I'm going 100% is probably just common. If it's the chase, I'm going to lose it because I only got one. I've seen people who got two and they had multiple people and they got a bunch. So I don't know. Maybe this is the chase and I'm lucky enough. But I'm going to actually get close my eyes and you guys are going to see first. I don't know. I hope that it's the chase because it's always fun to have, get a chase. But, like, I don't think it's going to be the chase. And here it is. Boom. And it is just the common. But honestly, this is a sweet soda. I love the detail in it. Definitely one that I'm excited to add to my collection because I do really like Harley Quinn as a character. She is really sick. And I will take a look at the pog for you guys. Again, just double check. It is the comment. We got two pogs. No way. That's insane. So we got, we got two pogs. That's pretty sick. I've never seen that. So we got an error soda. That's awesome. One of 10,000. So the chase was limited to 2,000. 
Well, I guess we can show one side at the same time. So there we go. We got two pogs. That's actually really, really funny. I'm actually surprised. I did not expect that. Well, honestly, that was a win in itself, to be quite honest. That was hilarious. This soda's insane. So again, thank you to my mom for getting the soda for me as a surprise. Um, this is really awesome. So that was crazy how we got two pogs from the Harley Quinn soda. That was crazy. I was not expecting that. We didn't get the chase, but it does make up for getting two pogs and having, like, I guess you can call an error soda. I do always like those. And it's always nice to get a free pog, you know? Just, you know, maybe someone that I know is missing one and they didn't get it in here. This could be their pog. You never know. But, um, anyway, I, I just notice how Funko does these sometimes with the sodas. Sometimes the quality control is bad. Like, sometimes it doesn't come with any pogs. Sometimes it comes with a chase pog when you get a common or a common pog when you get a chase or no pog or two pogs. It's just, it's crazy. I don't understand how they get this wrong, but it is cool to open up a soda with two pogs. Now... We can get into the fat, or not the fat gum, the Gang Orca, because I didn't really show you guys a closer look at this. Here it is. Gang Orca is a pro hero from My Hero Academia. I don't really know too much about him, but he's a really, really cool character from what I've seen in the show, and I am trying to get one of every character that they make in My Hero. So, and I usually try to try to get, like, every single con exclusive that comes out that since I've been collecting My Hero, and I think I actually have. I started collecting My Hero in 2020, they had the Bakugo. I have the um the New York Comic Con exclusive uh what is it? New York Comic Con exclusive Mr. Compress and I got the Neji Ray. So yeah, I think I got an every exclusive since twenty twenty that was a con exclusive. So here we go. Again, there it is. I do like to try to get all the con exclusives for my hero because they are pretty cool as they come out. I'm not gonna go for the other ones that I missed, but definitely well, this is a nice one to add to my collection and I'm very excited about it. But He's not, like, a big character in the show, but he is a nice character, and the pop is really sick. From looking at it inside the box, it looks really detailed. Now it's time to get it out of the box. I have seen out-of-box looks on, like, leak profiles on Instagram and stuff, but here it is out of the box, and it's really, really sick. The suit's insane. He has a nice glossy finish on his, like, on his head and stuff. It's really, really sick. And I definitely will be showing you guys a closer look on the, uh, the rotating platform one, once I'm done showing off all the other stuff that I got, which is just one more thing, but it's the number one thing that I wanted from the con, so I'm very excited. This is a really, really sick pop to add to my My Hero Academia collection, and let's see the next one. Here we go. This one has a story, okay? Story time really quickly. So what happened was, I went to GameStop. Again, they had three, and I was fourth in line. So um, I was confused. I was like, Great, why do they only have three? They would think they had more because it's in the mall, you know? And the mall usually gets a lot of traction on con days. But they didn't have it, so I was, like, very bummed out that they had three of them and I didn't get it. And I'm like, okay, maybe because I know that Emma and Seal, what the pop, so they try helping me out, but they can only, unfortunately, get one as well. So I'm glad they can get one for their collection. I'm glad that I can get one for my collection as well. But what happened was I called the GameStop that's, like, five minutes away from my house, and they said they had it. And they said to get there quick because at 1.30... They're going to be like, okay, here, you can order it online and pick it up in store. But they have until like 1.30 when the store opens, I'm pretty sure. So they can sell them. If they don't sell them, they'll put the rest online. So for some reason, I took that as we have a lot because they didn't say hurry up, we have one left. They said hurry up, we're going to put it online if you don't hurry, if we, like if we can't sell them. So that means that they had a lot. And sure enough, I went there. They had seven. They had seven fat gums. That's the most I've ever seen in any store so far. And this, and this GameStop doesn't get a lot of people in there like they usually don't like I have every time I go in there's like it's just me and like one other person and they're not even buying pops so I don't know what would compel Funko to send them seven and the mall three but whatever it was it all worked out for the better and I am very glad that I could get it and here it is fat gum in the flesh boom this is such a sweet pop the number one pop that I wanted for the con it does have the shared sticker I don't care because I just like the figure itself. This is a six inch, so it's going to take a little more room up. But I might have to start moving that shelf to get everything off it, put the turtles on that side, and then put my six inch pops as a six inch pops up here. Because they do have quite a few now. I have the Pirates of the Caribbean, um, the treasure skeleton that I have out of box right there, and then I have the Hulk that I have out of box over there. But I will be putting them back in the box to put them up there now that I have three ten inch, or not ten inches, now that I have three six inches. And that should fill up the shelf. But this is such a sweet pop. And it's so detailed. 
and such a and I'm glad that they made him a six inch because he needed to be a six inch. If he wasn't a six inch, it would be weird. It would not look natural. He'd be like a he'd be like a small pop that's like six inches tall, but not like wide enough. In this type of box, and clearly he can't fit in this box. If they tried making Fat Gum a four inch, so this is really really sweet. I will be taking it out of the box for you guys. This one. I think is the most coveted pop of the con, to be quite honest. Um, but like, I'm telling you, I don't know how my GameStop that was five minutes away didn't sell them. They had so many of them, everyone was going to the mall and they were all bummed out that they couldn't get the big, uh, the fat gum. But they had six, or seven, now they have six, but they had seven. And I was literally the, no, it wasn't even like they had people coming in to get the con. I was the only person that went to that GameStop to buy a con Funko Pop for that reason. People went to that GameStop that day, but I was the only one for the purpose of buying the Fungo Pops. Now, this is so sweet. I just dropped something. This is so sweet. This is awesome. Now, the one thing I wish they gave Fat Gum his smile, that would have made the pop like 10 times better. But for what they did, he's in a nice dynamic pose. It's the right size, and scaling is great uh, compared to the other ones. This is awesome. This is such a great pop. I think that they should make a 6-inch All Might because he is taller than most people, he, but they couldn't make a lot of 6-inch All Mights because maybe people wouldn't buy it, but Fat Gum makes the most sense if they were going to make a pop of him to be 6-inch because this is really awesome. And now, I will show you guys a closer look of all the stuff that I got outside of the box right now. So, hope you guys enjoyed the closer look of all these amazing Funko Pops and Funko Sodas. Um, I was very happy that I could make out with getting this and this, the two most wants, like the two top wants from the con. These Pops look even way, like, look way cooler than I thought they would in person. They're amazing. And um, again, somehow, everything worked out for me for the Comic Con. I got everything that I wanted. I got everything that I wanted to get for other people to help them. And it just, I don't think it could have went any better, honestly. Um, so... I'm going to say thank you to Funko, you know? I think that other people, you know, didn't really run smoothly. Like, the site was glitching out. Everything sold out on them, and they had to keep going back and retyping in their information. But for me, it went really smoothly. So that's my take of the thing. Maybe you had a bad experience. I'm sorry. Hope that you can get at least one thing or a couple things that you wanted and that you did good in the stores. And if your lottery experience was bad, then hopefully you made out and getting this stuff in the stores like I did. Um... So again, thank you to Funko for, I guess, making my con experience, it, it guess, good. Because I guess, I don't know, either I'm just lucky or my store. I don't even know what it was, but whatever it was, it was really great. I'm very thankful. And honestly, I'm going to say it. I really did like the exclusives for Funcon. Everyone was hating on them. Everyone thought they were bad. But now everyone's buying them. Like, they're all selling out everywhere, left and right. I don't know what's going on. But I actually enjoyed them. I mean, I could say that wasn't the best Comic Con that we've ever had. I mean, the exclusives weren't great. Like, we didn't really need them. Like, some of this stuff could have been a common. But, like, some of the stuff could have been commons and whatever. But the exclusives were actually really cool. Like, I did like the Star Wars ones. I liked the Marvel ones. The My Hero ones were awesome. Like, even the sodas were good. Like, they had some nice characters that we probably wouldn't get into Funko Pop form. Because they're not that big. But they're awesome in sodas. So, it's just it was just a very fun con. Whoa. I, why did I do that? I think that's why they call it Fun Con, guys. I just said overall it's a very fun con, but it's called Fun Con. Wow, I'm good. Anyway, um, this was awesome. Hope you guys enjoyed this video, and let me know in the comment section down below what you got from stores and what you got from the Fun Con if you won the lottery, because I think I forgot to say that in my last video. Just let, like, I would like to know how it all worked out for you. If it didn't work out, let me know what went wrong. I want to know everything. I'm just curious. Thank you for watching. Comment, like, and subscribe. Turn on those push notifications so you do not miss another video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.